Jerusalem is a city of the future. The Bible tells us that the final conflict of mankind is not going to be fought over Paris or Rome or Los Angeles or New York City or San Bernardino <laughs> or peddling <laughs> or any other city like that. It's going to be Jerusalem. That's why the Bible says pay attention to Jerusalem. Luke 21, 20. Jesus says when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies you will know that the time of its de destruction has arrived. Zechariah 12, 2. God says, I'll make Jerusalem like an intoxicating drink to all the nearby nations and send their armies to besiege Jerusalem. I'll make Jerusalem a head heavy stone, a burden for the whole world. Now right now there's turmoil in the Middle East. Egypt is in chaos. Mubarak is gone. The people are still rioting in the streets. And then you have the Libya which is in turmoil right now. And, and we wonder what is going to happen. And the concern is that uh, radical Islamic elements might move in and do in Egypt and Libya what has already happened in Iran. Uh, there is one group that is touted as being moderate that call themselves the Muslim Brotherhood. Inexplic inexplicably our government is negotiating with them right now. However the Muslim Brotherhood has come out clearly and spoken of their desire for the eradication of Israel. A leader of this group uh, said that what they need in Egypt now is what they have in Iran. A true Islamic state. He said Egypt and, Egypt and the world of Islam as a whole needs leaders like Mahmoud Ahmadinejad which is the president of Iran. And, uh, and we need a new world order with Iran and Venezuela of all people plus Hezbollah and Hamas to chase away the Americans. And this statement is made constantly. He also went on to say, every day, every night rather, when I go to bed I pray to wake up the next day and see Israel wiped off the map, the Brotherhood leader said. This doesn't sound very moderate to me. And then you look at the President of Iran who continually speaks of wiping Israel off the face of the map. He says, is it possible for us to witness a world without America and Zionism? You had best know this slogan and goal are attainable and can be achieved. The regime that is occupying Jerusalem must be wiped off the map. Now you could dismiss this and say this is ridiculous, but wait a second. They are developing nuclear weapons in Iran right now. They may even have them already. And so Israel is in a very difficult situation because they take these threats Seriously. I had the opportunity uh, this last week to uh, interview Jacob Diane. He is the Consul General of Israel, an ambassador from Israel representing their country. And I was able to ask him a number of questions and we are going to post this entire interview on our website tomorrow if you want to watch it. But here is just a little excerpt from the interview where I talked to him about this whole situation in Iran today. So look at the video screen. The leader of Iran has uh, said many times he wants to wipe Israel off the face of the map. He's made no secret about this and, and he's even threatened to use his nuclear weaponry against the United States as well. Uh, so this is a man that will potentially have this ability if the Arab Spring does not open up this opportunity you hope for would you ever see Israeli, Israel using a military solution and is it even possible to take out the nuclear weapons of Iran if they get them? In answering your question I think that, that having a nuclear military Iran is unacceptable and should be unacceptable by everyone. And this is why all options should be on the table. Sure. Because if you look at the American report that was published in 2003 it was published, sorry, in, in 2009, the NIE report. They said that Iran stopped developing nuclear military capabilities only in 2003. And what happened in 2003? The U.S. invaded Iraq and Iran thought they are going to be next in line. So if it's not being accompanied with a credible threat, if you don't stop, all options are on the table and we are willing to act, they will not stop. So every 
every sanction and the sanctions are working should be accompanied with, with the uh, willingness to move forward if Iran continues, and they continue now. They take advantage of the chaos that exists in the Middle East, and under, uh, underneath the, uh, the, the radar screen, they are continuing developing the bomb, uh, and we should be very alert, and we should be s focusing on Iran, stopping Iran. So all options are on the table. Well, you know, the, God made a promise to Abraham. He said, I'll bless those that bless you and I'll curse those that curse you. And I believe one of the reasons that God has blessed our country, the United States, has been because of our support of the nation Israel. So I want you to know as uh, representing a bunch of believers at Harvest Christian Fellowship that uh, Israel is in our prayers. Thank you. And we pray that God continues to bless your nation. And we know you are indeed God's chosen people. And, uh, and that blessing has come back on us as well. So thanks for your time. Thank you very much. And I feel that after 2,000 years, we are standing together. Israel is not alone. And we feel that we are stronger than ever. And I have no doubt that together we will prevail any challenge and any difficulty. Thank you. Thank you.